day one action, and we're getting away from the tournament, bringing you a super fight between Stefan Leko and Ruslan Karyev. Yeah, I train really, really hard for this tournament. Uh, I, I use all my summer time, beautiful time in Europe, and I train like animal. I train very hard. I was very confident to win this tournament. And um, I win better than I think before. You know, so I win the first two fights by KO, very, very good. Karev is a very good fight. I have big respect for him, he's, but he's still young. I think um, I have more experience than him. And um, I think he will not like it, my style because uh, he's always uh, used when he come and not a fight and go back. Я да не отрицаю то, что он опытнее меня. Он провел много боев, К1 он э, как бы, прошел уже много турниров тоже и в опыте, можно сказать, безусловно, он, он лучше, чем я, но я постараюсь, как бы, как я уже говорил, если не опыт, тогда может быть возьму свою молодость. Я заранее никогда не настраиваю себя ни на что, но. У меня разнообразная техника, и она такая обширная. И когда я вхожу на ринг, я под каждого бойца уже на ринге смотрю, что и как. Well, some people will call this maybe the fight of the night in what should be a very evenly matched fight between Stefan Leko and Ruslan Karen. And now Stefan Leko is making his way first between these two fighters. Leko so quick, they call him Blitz because of his aggressive, quick style. And very focused coming out here. If you look at Stefan Leko, where he's been, what do you think he has to do tonight to be effective and, and get the win? Well, he's a very aggressive fighter himself, and he's a come forward fighter. Uh, he's got good hands, good legs. Basically, he's just got to be patient, keep his hands up, defense does his um, we were saying earlier how important this defense has to be. Where Ruslan's very aggressive, he's on the move, and so it's important for him to stay patient. And now making his entrance, ladies and gentlemen, Stefan Blitz Leko. So I think we got it backwards here a little bit. Leko already in the ring, and Ruslan getting ready to uh, make his way to K1, and, and, and I, I look at Ruslan, he's only 22 years old. I mean, he's still just a young, young guy. I mean, his, his future's still ahead of him, 22 years of age. All right, he's got another 20 years to go. <laughs> <laughs> like we said earlier, like we, I fought this guy a year, uh, last year. Uh, he comes in the fight game with 160 fights, I think, with 130 knockouts, very impressive record. Uh, again, like we said, you know, he came out here last year and proved himself that he, he has what it takes to mix it with the best of the best. Um, his first year in K1 and ended up being in the top eight, which sometimes a lot of fighters, you know, it takes five, six, maybe even 10 years to get there. He did it in the first year, so it goes to show how much talent this kid has. What do you take away, since you fought him, what impressed you about him? What do you take away from him? What impressed me the most is that he's very um, active in the ring. He's not only active, he's, uh, he shows a lot of different, uh, he's got a great character in there. Um, as you can see, you know, he's smiling, he's saying hello to everybody. Uh, he's generally a really nice guy. He's ready to go, we're ready to this go. Is Here's Michael Buffer. Fight of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mayhem at Mirage 2. All part of the Fields K1 World Grand Prix 2006 in Las Vegas. The referee for this contest will be Nelson Hamilton. Three three-minute rounds, K-1 rules apply. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with gold trim, six feet two, 215 pounds. His record, 159 victories. Only eight defeats, 125 knockouts from Russia, the 2005 K-1 Mayhem at the Mirage champion, Ruslan Khan. And his opponent, standing six feet two, 207 pounds, 
wearing black with gold trim. His record, 50 victories, 29 knockouts, 13 defeats with one bout even and one no contest from Germany. He's the 2001 K1 Semis Tournament Champion, Stefan Blitz Leiko. All right, gentlemen, I went over the rules with both of you to so say you understand that I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Listen for my command at all times. Let's touch him up. All right, Doc Hamilton given final instruction. Ruslan Karyev, originally from Russia, now makes his home in Vladikavkaz. And he's ready to go against Stefan Leko. You mentioned Ruslan, 160 fights. I mean, that is a lot, of, that's a lot of fights. One thing you got to look out for uh, Ruslan is that he has a very impressive, beautiful speed back kick, which he stopped two of his. There you go. There it is, right on cue. <laughs> must have heard, must have heard you here. That's why I raised the fighter. He, he understands what's going to happen. That's why we got him as our analyst today. Tell you right when it's going to happen. Right away, spinning back fist as well. Both these fighters very explosive, very quick. Always action between these two. Another spinning back fist misses by Ruslan. Stefan Leko showing him some respect. Ruslan comes firing in. Good combination. Landed with a kick as well. Oh, oh flying great. A, was, I call that a Superman punch. Kind of flying <laughs> in there with the right hand. It's one of these typical tie techniques where you fake the right kick and fire the right hand closing the distance. Oh, nice uh, kick as well. The body. Ruslan really starting out very well. Leko tried right. to land a wild right hand that was just a little bit short there. Pull it. No more. Doc Hamilton tells him to not push, meaning Leko. No, 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 no. Leko just bullied down there by Ruslan. Ruslan now tries to pick him up. I couldn't see it from this oh. angle, but. Uh, that left hook looked like it glanced off his jaw. Happens so quick, tough to tell. And once again, another left hook there by Ruslan. Doc Hamilton once again saying, don't, don't hold and hit here. I tell you who's very disappointed about not being here tonight in the ring facing Ruslan is Glauber Feitoza, who was another K1 USA champion last year. And uh, unfortunately, he broke his foot uh, last week and was unable right. to fight. That's right. Fight. He was supposed to be in here instead of Stefan Leko, who's as you mentioned, supposed to be in the tournament, now fighting tonight here in the super fight. A lot of respect between these two fighters. Oh, he spinning back kick again there, landed by Ruslan. You mentioned it. He, he loves to land that. Just, and I mean, like you said, he's knocked out many guys with that shot. Right. And he throws it nicely, too. He was able to counter that off the leg kick. Stop. So the first key to the fight tonight is he's got to be patient, work off his jab, faint every now and then, and keep working legs. You know, Stefano just really on the defensive right now. I mean, he wants to land some shots. Oh, spinning back fist there. <laughs> well, you got to protect yourself at all times. Ruslan went to touch gloves, and Stefano was in the midst of throwing the spinning back fist. <laughs> Stefano, right after he landed, he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't know you were trying to touch gloves. <laughs> But yeah, it is the fight game. You got to be ready at well, all yeah, times. I mean, oh, good left hand there. Nice left hook. Continues Ruslan with good combinations as well. Very aggressive fight. Both guys really throwing it down here to end round number one. Oh, again, a spinning back kick there. Very entertaining round number one here between Ruslan Karev and Stefan Leko. Ruslan's for. Uh, through a few of his trademarks with the spinning back kick. I think Stefan wanted to show him that he could do exactly the same thing. Show you some of the action here in round number one. And Stefan Lego, there it is. Uh, it was a beautiful shot, but <laughs> I see Stefan's reaction there. He's like, sorry, man, I didn't know you were going to throw your glove out there. I would have. Uh... Yeah, well, they're both very good, clean fighters. And, uh, you know, Stefan is disappointed that he didn't see that, but, uh, you know, it was done intentional. A lot of respect between these two. and. Leko there sh shrugging his shoulders, apologizing for the foul. He thought it was a foul anyway. I would be interested in what would have happened if he actually got knocked out with that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it would be interesting to see well, how Doc Hamilton scored it. 
I, I would have actually taken uh, given it to Stefan because the fight is, yeah. you know, still in progress well, and the fight was. wasn't called. You, you, you saw, I mean, Doc Hamilton did not call, call timeout. Yeah, you're That's right. right. So it would have been a legal blow, but like you said, a lot of respect between these two fighters. True gentlemen. But don't, oh man, now they're really slugging it out here in the center of the ring to start off round number two. It's beautiful to see these guys uh, throw great combinations, uh, both standing there going toe to toe. A fast and furious pace once again for these two fighters. They're both great skills, you know. They actually, uh, the odds makers made Laco just a slight favorite going into this fight, but pretty much a very even matchup. Nice right hand landed by Laco. You know, Stefan's usually the guy that leads with the shots, and he's, he's being more of a counterpuncher in this fight. Right. Well, mainly uh, the reason why Stefan is probably the favorite to going into this fight is because he's been in K1 for quite a long time, where Ruslan's a newcomer, uh, been in K1 for a year now, and that's probably right. But all in fact, Ruslan's had <laughs> probably about 60 or 100 fights more. So Lego continues to try to try to hurt. Ruslan here just continues to stock him a little bit, but you see the hands be there. Ruslan just always in motion. Stop. Well, then they call stop. <laughs> <laughs> so a very interesting round number two here. Lako tries to land a late kick there. Ruslan continues to shorten the distance, land some left hooks, tries to go for an uppercut. Good combination by Lako there. Cut off his own left hook, right hand. We see a mouse on uh, Stefan's right eye. You know, and Ruslan's just content to go toe to toe. He does not mind staying right in the middle there and just exchanging right, punches. Right. Oh, Ruslan trying to load up on a right hand partially blocked there by Leko. A minute to go here in round number two. There it is. That spinning back kick, so effective weapon for him. And, and he's so fluid. I mean, he throws it like a jab. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that quick. It's amazing to see. And he fires a left hand now, this Ruslan. Just the quickness he has. It's pretty amazing. Nice Good left hook, right uppercut. Beautiful cut. Lako yep. in trouble now. Lako's yep, down. That was a down. Great combination. Lako in trouble now. Well, Stefan says he's okay, but that's not really good for him because now it's automatically a 10 8 round. He, he does say he's okay, but his eyes are watering right now, and Ruslan right now can feel it. Tries to land that sneaky right-handed. Ruslan just landed a great combination. Nice left hook again. Who's got Lako battered? Lako now trying to stand yep, toe to toe, and he's in a lot of trouble trying to hold on. Ruslan trying to finish him here in round number two. Right, Ruslan's trying to shove him off. Lako trying to survive the second round here. Nice knee there by Ruslan. Wow. Tough, tough round for Stefan Lako. He was hurt a couple times in that round. Ruslan Karev just continues to impress. So aggressive in round two. Landed some great combinations in the round. Give you another look here. Beautiful uppercut followed by a left. And just continue the assault. Give you another look here. Beautiful uppercut. That was just right on the money. Then continued with the combination, and Lego just crumbled down. Right. The thing about Ruslan is that he never stops throwing. And <laughs> when you have numbers on your side like that, eventually one's going to land. Yeah, you know, we don't do CompuBox here in K1, but if we did, it, it, it would be a high percentage for Ruslan Karya. A great round for him and Stefan Lego now. He's in a lot of trouble as we move to this third round. Fight! Ruslan right away wanted to try to land a big left hook. Lako comes back with the leg kick. But Lako now carrying his hands a lot higher. Oh, a nice jab there by Ruslan. He's so accurate with those shots. But another good leg kick there by Lako. Well, yeah, Stefan can see that, you know, he's not blocky, so he's going to keep attacking that front oh. leg. Oh. And now, I tell you what, uh, now uh, Ruslan's get, getting worn for an elbow, but his left leg... I'm talking about Ruslan's left leg is a couple shades of purple now, and now he's trying to start to check those leg kicks. You know, Stefan could just continue to work. I, look at look at Ruslan limping now. Point. I'm telling you what, that leg is a couple shades of purple now. It's the left leg, the left league leg for Ruslan. Oh, there's another kick right on it. Stefan Lako could change this fight around Point. if he continues to punish that leg. 
Ruslan's starting to slow down because of it. Well, Stefan can't stop, uh, can't afford to sit back and, uh, you know, and wait for this fight to happen because he's down in two rounds already. And uh, he's got a. Oh, right hand drop, Stefan Lego. Four. You see, uh, Five. Ruslan's a great fighter. Eight. I mean, he's, he has a lot of respect for fighters in there. Six. Tapped him on the. He knew that he Seven. hit him. Eight. Ready? Stefan says he's okay. Hi. Well, this might be, it might be great because uh, there is talk of Ruslan and I meeting in August at the Bellagio. So if he does win tonight, it might be a good fight. I will be here Stop. for that. <laughs> I look forward to that. Fight. Stefan Lako continues with the leg kicks. I, I tell you what, if he could just continue to land those leg kicks, he still might be able to chop down the tree in front of him in Ruslan. Right. Right now, his corner is, is telling him to continue to try to go for that leg kick. Oh, another right hand Overhand by Ruslan. There it is, though. There it is again. You can see the leg starting to buckle now. Ruslan. There it is again. He just needs to continue to nail him if he can. R Ruslan's trying to show that he's not hurt. But looking at the five shades of purple his leg is right now. Uh, he's feeling that all right. A great uppercut again. Um, sure left hook. Ruslan just when he Stop. when he looks like he might be in a little bit of trouble, just continues with those uppercuts. I mean, he just turns the fight around. Point. He just changed down. the fight a lot. Ruslan, how about that? Unbelievable. He just relaxed with that front kick and got nailed with a straight right hand. Lako lands fin. a right hand that drops Ruslan late the third round. 26 seconds to go. Is this fight in it? Ruslan's still in trouble. He doesn't look like he's all there. No, he's not. Lako can try to finish this thing. Unbelievable turn of events. There's another right hand. Ruslan in trouble. He's in trouble. He's trying to hold Last on here. Seconds. Ten seconds to go. Lako trying to make the amazing comeback. Lako's got him hurt again. Does he have enough time oh to the end of the God. fight? What a fight that was. That was a Stefan Lako comes back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you got to love the fight game. You never know what happens in K1. You know, the thing is, Ruslan made the mistake of relaxing with that front kick, walked into a right hand, and changed the fight. <laughs> now, let's show you this amazing round. We saw a little bit of everything. Here's Lako coming in and just eats a right hand there, falls down. Start off with a left uppercut, come back with a left hook, overhand right uh, behind of the year. Good shot indeed, and then a little bit later, how about that? Straight, Straight right on hand the down chin. The <laughs> My goodness. Just drops him. I mean, he almost knocked him out with that shot. Well, that's right. I mean, he, recently I was just, it just goes to show, you cannot relax in there. No, you, you can't. Know? You will pay for it if you do. And he did. <laughs> Stefan Lako. It I'm, might be a little bit uh, too late for Stefan, though, because. Yeah, you're you right. Know, I, bet, I tell you what, if there's 10 more seconds in the oh, fight, it would have been a yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> Wow, what a fight that was. Ruslan probably pulls it off because of what he did earlier in the fight, but what right. an exciting finish that was. Stefan Lako really coming on at the end of the fight. AB2 a little too late. Judges right now continue to give the scores. Actually, the scores are in. Let's go up to Michael Buffer with your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Cecil Peoples and Sal D'Amato both scored this contest 29-27. Dalby Shirley scores it 28-27 to the winner by unanimous decision, Ruslan Kare. Well, Ruslan was impressive for the first couple rounds. Stefan Lako shows you why he is such a great fighter, came back and really put the heat on Ruslan, but when it's all said and done, Ruslan Karev wins. Do you agree with the decision? Oh, absolutely, I agree with the decision. Um, I mean, you know, Ruslan probably learned a big lesson tonight, and that don't relax until the fight's over. Until you hear that final bow, the game ain't over. And it almost ended uh, in that last round for, for him, and uh, fortunately, there wasn't another 10, 20 seconds left in the round. Indeed, an amazing fight. Stefan Lako coming back, but just a little bit too short. Too late as Ruslan Karev wins it on all three judges' scorecard by unanimous decision.